Hi everybody, uh, we're in this tattle room and it's at that time of year when everything changes from winter mould to what I call spring mould now. But one thing I do every year, I change my lines. I ch when I say that, my lines on my reel, my reel lines, I change them usually March. And, uh, and I do that because I just put them on beginning of March and they usually last me 12 months. And if they don't, if I, if, through the year obviously, if I have a breakage or something like that, then I have to put a new line on. But this for me is the time of the year when I put my new lines on everything for, because it's going to be more carp fishing. Uh, we're going to be fishing for big fish, especially when I go to Iberian Masters. So that's a great time for me to start preparation, moving out to winter mould, into spring mould and summer mould. So basically that's, I just get on my reels and I change everything. Um, so that's what I do and, uh, and, and it's just perfect time. And like I said, I'm going to Iberian, so it's, it's perfect time for me. Now, I've not done a lot of winter fishing because I've had a small operation, so uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just starting to, uh, to get excited about the new season coming. So I've had a bit more time this year to start preparing everything. So before I show you my, my lines, I'm going to show you a couple of new reels as well that, uh, that, that, that we're doing, uh, Nitro. And so, first of all, what I do, I use my reel, I usually use 4,000 size, up to 40 metres, and above 40 metres, I move up to 5,000 size. Just makes life a bit easier when you're casting a bit further. But because we're going on Iberian Masters and it's sort of wild fishing, um, and you're fishing to snags all the time, you just want rods and reels and lines just a little bit more powerful than you would normally do. So this is what I'm going to be doing. The two reels I'm going to be using is the long cast 5000. Now that is under 70 quid. Trust me, that is a fantastic reel. It's a fantastic reel because it's a what we call a, a big pit reel. The, the spool's quite big as you can see. So that means that uh, the line's going to come off easy and it's going to be easy to cast these distances. But of course it's going to have the power when you're winding in. Because what I want, I want a, a reel that I can just wind against the fish. That Horizon long cast reel, trust me, for 70 quid, under 70 quid, is fantastic. Big spool, you can see that, that it actually comes out. So you, look at that, how far it comes out. But it's just, honestly, it's a great reel. So that's the main reel that I've been using for my longer distances fishing. But, of course, we're bringing new stuff out all the time. So this is the prototype of the new Marvellous Reels that I've been using for quite a while now. You can see that there's no markings on it or anything like that. But that's a 5,000 Marvellous. These are going to be under 120 quid. Under 120 quid, I don't think I've ever fished with a reel as good as this. It's, this is awesome. Trust me, this is fantastic. And I've actually got one of the first ones that's come out, which is that you can see the markings on it now, the new Marvellous. There you go, look, the nice name one. So you can see it's a big, big spool again for distances, for everything. But the beauty about this is you can just wind against the fish. You don't have to do that. You don't have to pump and all you're doing all the time is just wind against the fish. The fish. These two reels are going to absolutely be awesome for fishing over sort of 40 metres. You can see the line lays good on both of them. So you, you haven't got a problem with the line lay, line lay, you see, you can see they're absolutely perfect. I'm going to come on to a little tip for you in a, in a little bit, but you can see that the line lay is really good. So them the two reels that I'm going to be using, or I have been using for the, for the last sort of 12 months. But trust me, that one, if you want a reel under 70 quid for long distance fishing, go have a look at that, the Horizon Long Cast. Trust me, that is a belter. But on them reels, where I'm, what line am I going to put on? <clears throat> well, it's quite simple. I don't complicate it. I'm carp fishing and I just put 0.26 on. I use that one, the Sublime Mono. It's 0.26. It's £11 for 0.26. A lot of people might use a 0.23, which is £9. I don't mess about when I'm carp fishing. I don't think it makes any difference whatsoever. So I just put that on. If you're going to buy it in the shop, it'll come in that box. As you can see, that's not 0.26, but it'll say 0.26 on it. So the diameter is 0.26, the strength is 11 pound. So I just use, I, when I'm carp fishing, that's all I put on. I don't put any other, other spool. If I'm fishing for uh, sort of F1s and, uh, and skimmers and ropes, I'll use a different line at a lower diameter. But when I'm carp fishing, 0.26, no problem at all. But 
what is important when you put them on so so you can see i'm not a complicated fisherman i think it's pretty straightforward i just put that on done finished so i might have i might have six or seven or maybe eight spools for carp fishing all with that point two six line on i don't complicate it but you might have noticed that when i'm showing you these reels look where the the line is on the spool there you can see that it's just inside that just inside the spool there at each end that means that the line will come out nice and smooth when you're casting now this is really important for a, for, a, for actually a couple of points one you don't want too much on because it's overpowering there's too much on it what happens it, it comes off in two and three spools two and three loops of the line and it gets around your rod ring so when you're casting and you're giving it a whack what happens is them two loops come off get wrapped your rod ring and one that will crack it off if you're lucky some i've seen them break rods so it's important that where the distance is the line lay on that spool is really important it wants to be just inside the outer rim there just inside you can just see where it is and that is absolutely perfect it's flat all the way line there's no umps or anything like that and i know that that is perfect now one of the things i do when i take people coaching one of the things that I notice on their reels is they have them like that. You can see that, look, look at that. See if I can get it there. You can see that it's well inside there. You can see that's well. And what they do, they get a spool, put 100 yards of line on, and then they get that all that like that. Now then, the disadvantage with that is this. When you cast, there's two, two big points I'm gonna point out for you now. One is when it casts, it rubs that. When you're casting, so you lose distance. So you won't get the distance because the line's rubbing on that all the time. So it doesn't help you getting your distance. That's really important. But of course, there's another big difference. One, it's narrower. It's set inside that spool, so it's narrower. Because it's narrower, you've got to wind in more times. You've just got to keep winding and winding because the spool don't, doesn't fill up. So if that were level with that, exactly like that, you don't have to wind in as much. You don't have to wind in as many times so that's the other reason so there's two reasons why you don't want it like that one is it rubs on that so it takes distance so you've got to whack it either but also you don't you have to you have to wind in more time so you finish up winding in because that's narrower than that and because it's narrower you, you, you've just got to wind in more so that's a, a really really key point so what you find out on all most of our reels at, at Nitro as well is they've got a line clip on there, but they've got two. You can see there, there's two line clips on. Now, the reason for two line clips is you can use set it at two different distances. So if you get if you set it at two different distances, for example, if you've only got one reel and you want to fish 20 meters and 40 meters, you set one at 20 and one at 40. Now you might say, well, how do I get to the 40 when, it, when it's set up on the 20? Well, obviously, if you, it, you've got to take the 20 off. So you can do two things here. You can either have it all set up on your, on your sticks at 20 metres, so you can quite easily go back to the 20 metres, or you can mark it up. Now, this is not the correct marker. I can't find mine, sorry. Uh, but you just want a, a line marker. You can get them from most tackle shops, and all you do... When you set them up on the 20 shorter one, whatever shorter distance it is, you mark it near the thing there. Mark about six inches of line like that, on, sorry, like that on your line. Mark it so it shows up. You could actually get it from a tackle shop, but mark it on the shorter one. You can mark it on both if you want, but on the longer one, you haven't got to take the clip off. It's the clip that's got to come off on the short one. So mark it up. So when you want to go back to your 20 metres, you go wind it back on and when you get to that marker where it's marked your line then basically put it straight back on and you're on or you can go to your sticks and measure it up at 20 meters again which don't take long only takes probably a minute anyway <coughs> so it's it's a great advantage to have two clips on because you can set it at two different distances like lots of places i go to you might be chucking to an island then chucking short and you can just swap between the two very simple without having two rods set up separately. So if you've only got one spool, you've got two clips on. So all I'm doing basically now, I'm sat in my, my thing, just putting line on my reels, get that done. And usually you'll be surprised when you're putting 100 or 150 meters on, you'll be surprised how long that'll last you. 
and provided you don't have a major uh, problem where you crack off or something like that and you've got for another sport during the season. But usually I do it once a year and I do it this time of year because I've got a lot of fishing coming up and because I've got the Iberian Masters where where it's starting and it's all carp fishing, it's all aggressive fishing, you're fishing for crazy fish in snags and in snags. Uh, that's why I put new new lines on, on my spools and everything's ready for new season. So for me, like I said, the start of the season or the start of the spring season starts uh, in March when we're going where we're going fishing to places and we're fishing for carp, perhaps not, you know, like we're moving out at winter mould. So I'm trying to get all my reels ready for the start of the season. That's what I do. So if you want a new reel, a long distance reel, have a look at that, the Horizon 5000. It's a cracker, under 70 quid. Or wait until they come out, the new marvellous reels, which I promise you, they're going to, we're going to sell, they're going to take over. They are a fantastic reel. And like I said, don't mess about with light lines. It don't make no difference. I use that, like I said, I use 0.26 diameter. It's 11 pound. Don't you, you don't need to. Honestly, you don't need to. All my cat reels have all got that line on. So I hope that helps you with a few tips and make sure that your spool is not like that, that it's filled up like that, just inside that outer rim there, and then your line will come off nice and free. It won't come off in two and three loops, and you'll get your distance that you require. A few tips here, there's a few more coming, and uh, I hope you've enjoyed that and picked a few up.